What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in to my channel, Jace's Own World. I really appreciate you guys coming and checking out this video. Today, I have nothing to do. I'm over here visiting some friends in California. And uh, I was like, you know, I'm gonna go take a drive on some roads that I've never driven before. So I got some uh, recommendations to go take a road to a place called Idlewild. I'm here in Menifee, California, and I'm gonna take that road. It's about an hour, a little over an hour, depending on traffic, to get up this road. This road looks super windy on the maps and stuff, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, but I'm go, going to get some gas and uh, fill up before I do this drive. And then this video is gonna be about just uh, doing a little drive. I'm not gonna take it too crazy on the road, but hopefully the video can show that is quite fun because on the map it looks pretty fun so stay tuned and uh yeah i'll get right to that part of the driving portion right now on the hill here there's the GTI got some graffiti going down got some other people up here it's sightseeing but this place is beautiful look at this Woo. man this is gorgeous gorgeous area got the clouds up there like 67 degrees up here right now it's like perfect slight breeze beautiful area not too many cars on the road uh, I'm at 4240 feet in elevation up here so the car definitely pulls but I can feel the elevation rear sway bar is putting in work man so good so good these tires are gripping <clears throat> and the car is running great very powerful very just very good loving it so I'll get back on the road <clears throat> and uh, we'll get going over there okay got a little fly on me get back on this road before all the traffic gets this road all right
definitely not in high enough elevation for ski resort stuff. I know we're closer to Big Bear Mountain, but we're not at Big Bear Mountain. But this is just beautiful. All the pine trees, this little town right here. Astro Camp, whatever that is. is here in Idlewild and for regular it's 609 six dollars and nine cents per gallon sheesh all right guys so I'm heading back down the mountain now and I turned my exhaust valve off so that I can talk clearly with you guys and you can hear me clearly hopefully and uh, I turned that off and I just rolled up the window so that everything's quiet so I can just ex just talk with you guys while I'm driving down the hill now and I just want to discuss basically the suspension upgrades that I have if you've been following my videos you know that I just put on Coney Yellow dampers and struts front and rear I have those set in the front from half turn from soft and in the rear 5 8 turn from soft so there's a lot more adjustability to be had with both the front and rear Coney yellow dampers and struts as far as the springs, I went with EMD, also known as Emmanuel Designs Lowering Springs. For the rear sway bar, I went with the 034 Motorsport rear sway bar, and I have it at its stiffest setting. For the rear end links, I have the Moog, that's M-O-O-G. I have those. Um, I guess they're just like the all-metal rear end links. For my tires, I have Firestone Firehawk Indy 500s and 225 4518s. And for my wheels, I have um, <clears throat> the OZ Ultra Ligera HLTs. And those are 18 by 8 I believe. And they're they're really nice looking and uh, very strong so that's basically my suspension setup uh, I have had ooh, this is a really really fun spot right here Pulling some good G's. I have had the BC racing BR series coilovers and I've also had the ST XTA coilovers on this car before and that was it I did not have any sticky tires or rear sway bar upgrade at that point now that we caught up to people <clears throat> but I'm not trying to go fast here because you saw that in my my other one I went you know I'm probably doing about 50 60 percent of what I can do but I don't know these roads so I didn't really push it crazy 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 hard um, <clears throat> But I just want to, you know, while I'm going down this hill, talk to you about the suspension setup that I've had and why I love it so much. So let's first talk about why I love this suspension setup on my car currently so much. Why, why do I love it so much? I think the biggest reasons why this car handles so good right now is due to the sticky summer Indy 500 tires from Firestone as well as the rear sway bar upgrade from 034 Motorsport. Now the biggest improvement in the handling of this car right now is due to that and that's because I've had decent sets of coilovers on this car before and yes they, they cornered flat but they did not give me much feel through the steering wheel which I did not like. Um, I was also running on all season tires at that point and through corners like this if I had those same tires on the car I would be 
um, you know, spinning tires quite a bit through those corners, as well as losing grip, a lot of grip through those corners. And due to that, I would be understeering quite a bit, um, especially on undulations where I'm coming through a corner and there's like a dip in the corner through a transition area or something. That's when the car would just kind of like not really, it wouldn't really take those undulations and those bumps and those transitions very well with those tires and even with those coilovers that I had previously. Now the coilovers, the ST, XTAs, as well as the BC Racing coilovers, they they were good, but they were so stiff too. Like they, they didn't take well to bumps. They were just like very bumpy. It's almost like the contact patch of the tire was not mating well with the pavement when it would be pushed hard or go over bumps. And I was really disappointed in that. Like I said, there wasn't much feel through the steering wheel, but the car cornered flat and that was nice. But you know, having a car corner flat, but not really feeling the car through the corner or the car being able to withstand the, the turns and the bumps and the camber changes and stuff like that. To me, it's almost pointless because I mean, yeah, it's cool to have coilovers because your car's lower and it sits nicer and look, looks more aesthetically pleasing to the eye and you have a lower center of gravity and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the car didn't really handle much better than it did with the OEM struts. It handled probably, I don't know, with, with the BC Racing coilovers and the ST XTA coilovers, and that's it on, you know, crappy all season tires. The, the car probably handled 15 to 20% better than it did stock. So it did do better, but it wasn't, it wasn't extravagantly better is what I'm saying. So it was almost pointless just running that setup. Now with this setup, let's start with talking about the Coney Yellow struts and the springs matted together. And then I'll talk about the 034 Motorsport uh, rear sway bar and then the tires and mix those together. So with the Coney Yellows, they're very compliant on the road. Like when I have bumps and undulations in the road, it really dampens those bumps very well. The car doesn't disrupt itself and it just pulls through those corners when there's little bumps or anything like that that disrupts the road. I haven't lost any control with them. I think with the EMD lowering springs, they it really put it at the perfect ride height that I want the car to be at. So it's the perfect aesthetic look for what I want out of the car. Now, some of you like it lower and that's on you, but me personally, I don't really care to be low, low. <clears throat> as far as going through a corner too, the car, the, the Coney yellow struts and, and dampers really, really, really flatten the car. I think it the car's even flatter through a corner more and obviously a lot better than the BC and the ST XTA coilovers. These things, you know, some of you might say, oh, those are cheaper, blah, 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 blah. But Coney has been around for so long and they they just work. And I think the EMD or Emmanuel Design lowering springs were the perfect spring to match with these dampers, struts. I mean, they're just amazing, man. I love them. So I really, really like it. Mostly due to two things is because, you know, during normal speeds, the car is so compliant and soft. It, you're not bumping all over the, the ground uh, like the coilovers were. So they, they handle undulations in the road a lot better and transitions and stuff. And they corner just as flat, if not flatter. So I really, really, really like that. So. You know, my recommendation is get 
these Kona Yellows and EMD lowing springs. Now, I don't know about any other springs, how they would do with these, but I would assume they do well. Um, but this is the research, through the research that I did, I found out that those who are running this exact setup for the struts and the springs, loved them, so that's why I bought them. So let's go on to the uh, 034 Motorsport rear sway bar and the sticky tires from Firestone, Firehawk 8500s. <laughs> Driving through this, I would consider this a canyon. Um, this is a very windy canyon, which I really like, but um, driving through this, when I'm heading into these sweepers or these sharp turns, the car not only feels sticky to the road, like a lot stickier, like I know the tires are sticking to the road way better than any all season tire I've ever had. And I've also ran Yokohama, um, DWS 06s on this car. I've ran the Michelin Pilot Sport AS3 Plus is on this car. So, and then I've ran, and I've ran, you know, really cheap all season tires too. So I've, I've kind of gone through the spectrum of really good all season tires and then really cheap ones. And to be quite honest, like even with the really good ones, I would say the Michelins were the best as far as grip were concerned. Even with those on the car, they did not grip close, not even close to as well as these Firestone Indy 500 tires. Uh, these are just way stickier to the road. And they're only 225, so, you know, having 235s, 245s would be nice, uh, but I honestly don't think I need it. For the driving that I do, because I don't track the car yet, uh, I don't think I need wider tires. So the car just has way more grip through the corners. But the 034 Motorsport rear sway bar is really, when I turn into these corners, boy does it turn in. And it also gives me a lot more front end grip and feel. That's what was missing without having a rear sway bar. And I think that's the biggest improvement in this car is the rear sway bar because <clears throat> I can feel the car just wants to turn in more. Whereas before the rear sway bar upgrade, it didn't want to turn in. I was pushing it through the steering wheel more and I wasn't feeling the road much at all. And then when I would get to a point, it would want to understeer me out of that corner, uh, mostly due to me having an open differential but I still have an open differential and it doesn't want to push me out of a corner like it did before. Um, and so this rear sway bar has really transformed the handling of this, of this car. Um, but I really love the feel that I'm getting through the, the front steering wheel now. Like it's a point and shoot and that alone gives me so much more confidence through a corner, through a canyon, through tight stuff. And it also gives me a lot more confidence with the whole package that I have. When I hit bumps through a corner and when I'm pushing it, before, you know, even with the coilovers, the BCs and the STs that I had, the coilovers then, <clears throat> when I would hit a bump mid corner going quick it would it would be all like this and I think it, do, it doesn't really do that now partly because of the rear sway bar it, it keeps it stabilized but but it was just unpredictable it wasn't fun it wasn't fun it wasn't giving me confidence with that setup this setup 100% more confidence uh, so my rating with this setup over the OEM struts my rating is saying probably at least a 60% to 75% improvement over stock. So you compare that to just the coilovers, it was a low improvement over stock. This setup, huge improvement. Now, 
I do understand that there are improvements to be made. I really don't know what the Moog uh, you know, all metal rear end links did for the handling of this car, but they're working great. So I, you know, I don't know if it improved it or not, but I do know that they're there. So I have to add that into this, but I'm really stoked for, for the suspension that I chose and I'm glad I pieced it together with the OEM top hats and bearings. Um, I used all OEM stuff to put it together as you've seen in my previous videos and I don't get any clunking or anything like that. With my ST XTA coilovers, they had their own camber plates and top hats and bearing and everything, as well as the BC Racing BR series coilovers. They had their own stuff too. And I got all sorts of clunking with that, with both of those setups, especially when you would hit like a expansion joint or any type of sharp bump on a road, you would really get a big clunking through the suspension and that sucked. I don't get any of that with this. So OEM for the win on that type of stuff, as everybody knows, because I think, you know, the tests have been done where OEM is just the way to go. Yeah, so I'm going down the hill pretty mild. I'm almost done with the windy stuff and I'm just heading back. Uh, to my my friend's pad so that was my you know review my my I guess my extensive review and some driving in this video of the current setup that I have I really like it a lot yes I do know that there's more to be had with suspension on this car I mean there's all sorts of stuff you can do but honestly I don't feel like I need it I don't feel like I need it at all um, the car handles amazing right now in its current condition and because it's a street vehicle and I do not track it yet, uh, I have plans to track it in the future, but as of right now, it's 100% street. And for these types of driving scenarios, it does more than plenty, more than plenty than what I would ever want it to be like. So. 100% satisfied with it, love it to death, very stoked. And if you guys are looking into suspension, I highly recommend the setup that I went with. Um, it comes to, everything comes to about, well, I all the parts that I bought, I bought on sale. I did not buy them at full price. So everything that I purchased on sale came to about, $1,300 or around there, twelve dollars to $1,300 for everything. So, and I installed it all myself. <clears throat> so, you know, that's how much just a set of coilovers is. You know, BC Racing coilovers are what? $1,050 or something like that. So, you know, and then the STXTAs are what? 1800 bucks or something like that. So, you know, this is the setup to go, man. You know, if you're not looking for a crazy 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 drop but you just want the car to be dropped to like a lowering spring ride height but have amazing handling at the same time and you're not and you're not really risking putting just putting lowering springs on OEM dampers and having the OEM dampers fell on you within 20 30 40 thousand miles or whatever this is the setup to go with it's gonna be, it costs you a little bit more than just like buying a rear sway bar or lowering springs and installing it. Yeah, this is this setup costs you a little bit more than that. But the Coney Yellows have a lifetime warranty to the original buyer and to the original car, obviously, because you're buying them for the car. Um, so, and they're very easy to work with. Nobody really has any complaints if they have something go wrong with their Coney Yellow Damper or any Coney product. Coney is really, really good at their customer service and making their customers their priority. So, you know, lifetime warranty on that. It's, it's just a no-brainer to me. These, these struts, they have the adjustment. So, you know, you have, according to whatever lowering spring you have, you have your lowered ride height and then you have your 
your adjustment and that's all you really need honestly this is <laughs> this is more than the majority of us will ever need so highly recommend this setup if you have any questions give me a holler in the comments or you can check out my instagram page at jason's own world and send me a private message over there i usually check that more often um so do that and uh yeah until the next video i will see you guys later all right sorry about the long video but you know my videos are long <laughs> all right see you guys later peace